now we will see some important note on uh, problems on resolution and composition of forces so here we have solved one particular problem wherein uh, a system of forces is given and it, it was asked to find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force and we have determined it we got uh, magnitude of the resultant force as 246.9 newton and its inclination as 80 newton 80 degree okay now i will take magnitude and direction of the resultant force alone so magnitude of the force is how much r is equal to 246.9 newton and its inclination is how much 80 degree 80 degree okay let us assume sigma fx as horizontal component of this resultant force and sigma fy as vertical component of the resultant force okay therefore sigma fx is equal to horizontal component of the resultant force that is r cos theta okay means 246.9 cos 80 degree 246.9 cos 80 degree so if we solve the answer whatever the sigma fx value we have here you will get the same value 40 43.46 newton only 43.46 newton similarly if you find sigma fi by taking vertical component of the resultant force that is 246.9 sin 80 degree 246.9 sin 80 degree so you will get the same value of sigma fi that is 243.04 newton 243.04 newton therefore see here we have determined sigma fx and sigma fi by using system of forces all the forces all the system of forces okay here we have determined the same sigma fx and sigma fi using resultant force and its inclination therefore it is possible to find sigma fx and sigma fi either by using system of forces or by using resultant force okay therefore the first note that we can add here is first one if magnitude of the resultant force is given in the problem magnitude and direction of the resultant force is given in the problem then sigma fx is equal to r cos theta and sigma fi is equal to r sin theta okay sometimes what happens while solving the problems he will be giving all the forces okay and he will not give one of the system of force okay you will here you can see in this particular problem all the system of forces given except one particular force force p is not given but the resultant force is given in that case what we can do is we can find sigma fx and sigma fi using this that resultant force and we can find for p okay so in that case this note uh, will help you okay therefore if if r makes an angle theta with x axis x axis then sigma fx is equal to r cos theta sigma f y is equal to r sin theta this much you remember okay so there is one more case one more kind of problems wherein he says that resultant lies in the x axis okay resultant will be given along the x axis given along the x axis in this case in this case what is the angle of resultant force with respect to x axis angle is 0 degree horizontal angle of resultant force with respect to x axis means horizontal angle is 0 angle with respect to x axis is 0 therefore if you find sigma fx means this is second case if resultant lies in x axis x axis then 
sigma fx is equal to r cos theta, where theta is 0, correct? r cos 0, cos 0 value is 1, therefore sigma fx is equal to r. Okay, sigma fx is equal to r, this is the first condition. If you find sigma fi, sigma fi is equal to r sin 0, r sin 0, sin 0 value is 0, therefore sigma fi is equal to 0. So we have to utilize these two conditions. If the resultant lies in x axis. Okay. Similarly, there is one more condition. If the if resultant lies in y axis, y axis. Okay. If the resultant lies in y axis, what will be the sigma fx and sigma fi? Sigma fx. So, angle of resultant force with respect to x axis is how much now? It is 90 degree. Horizontal angle of resultant force is 90 degree. Therefore, sigma fx is equal to r cos theta. That is r cos 90. Cos 90 value is 0. Therefore, 0. Sorry, cos 90 value is s 0. So, sigma fx becomes equal to 0. Sigma fx equal to 0. Then, if you find sigma fi, it will be r sin theta, that is r sin 90, which is equal to r. Therefore, sigma fi is equal to r. To solve the problems, you need to remember all these three conditions. Okay. What is the first condition? If the resultant makes an angle theta with the x-axis, then sigma f x equal to r cos theta, sigma f y is equal to r sin theta. If resultant lies in x axis, sigma f x equal to r, sigma f y equal to 0. If the resultant lies in y axis, then sigma f x equal to 0 and sigma f y equal to r. You need to remember all these three conditions to solve the problems on resolution and composition of forces. Okay, thank you.